Hi, welcome to My GP Cloud. My name is Steve, and I want to spend a little time talking about Smartless Builder. We're going to look at adding tables, linking tables, and selecting default fields. Smartless Builder gives you the ability to create your own smart list within Dynamics GP. You can join one or more tables and get the information from GP and present it as a smart list. If you have more than one table in your smart list, you need to join those two tables together. And I want to show you a very simple example of how to do that. So let's create one right now. I'm going to create an account master smart list that also includes the account field string. So let's take a look at how I would do that. So I'll create this smart list here. I'm going to place this in the financial series within smart list. Now let's add the tables. The first table I'm going to add is going to be the account master. This is the basic table in the chart of accounts. So let's add that now. And you can see all the fields there. But what it does not have is it does not have the account string written out. And I would like that. So I'm going to add the index master to include the account string in my smart list. So let's do that. So I'm going to add a table. It's going to be the account index master. You can see that right here. And when I do that, when I join more than one table in my smart list, I'm going to have a link between those two tables. This is going to use an equal join. We can take a look at this. It's going to use the account master and the account index master tables. It's going to use the account index field from each table to join the two tables together. So let's accept that, save that. And now I'm going to select my default fields that are going to show up on the smart list when I open it. So what I really want from this index master is this account string here. So I'm going to include that. Let's go back to the account master. Let me sort this by account name, field name. And I'm going to select some of these fields here and account type. So now I have four fields in my default view. So let's save that. And let's take a look at it in Smart List. So now if I go to Smart List, it's going to take some time to refresh the Smart List tables. I'll go into the financial area here. And here's my new Smart List that I just created. And you can see that it indeed does include the account number string. And that's matched to the account master detail right here. And even though I created this in SmartList Builder, it has all the functions within SmartList. So I can easily export this to Excel. I can add additional fields to this. I can save it as favorites. So this is a simple example of how to add more than one table into a SmartList and then join those together. For more information, join us on Twitter at twitter.com slash mygpcloud.